Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how I tie one of my favorite patterns. You would have seen me fishing with it in a lot of videos. It's essentially just a very simple pattern that I use to imitate in anchovies, which in, over the summer seems to be one of the main things that is around here in, in Auckland, uh, which the kawai and kingfish love. And sometimes they can be quite finicky about taking, taking anything else, especially when they're really just hammering these. So this is the pattern. It is a tied like a clouds a little bit. Uh, it's just a dumbbell eyes, a hook, and some white and blue SF blend. Um, this is an old one. Uh, you can use different colored eyes, you can do it with different sizes. But this is size, tied on a size 2 Gamagatsu SL 12S hook, and I find these work really well. So I'm going to go through how I tie this. Um, it's a simple pattern. I'm not a great fly tyer at all. It, anyone can tie this. It's really basic. Um, you'll notice that I've tied it with the blue underneath. Normally it's better to tie it with the blue on the top because with the smaller dumbbell eyes, the, the hook point tends to still stay down. So the idea is that it's sort of representing the dark top of the fish and the light bottom half, uh, the two-tone color. As you can see, it's about the size of my finger and yeah, that's about the size that the fish seems to like. As I said, sometimes the uh, kawai and kingfish can be really finicky and just want this and yeah, this is essentially my go-to pattern when I'm fishing any surface workups. So let's get started. So what I'm using is some SF blend. It's one and this is the blue one and this is the white one. So yeah, that's what I use mostly. Then I just use some six or eight, uh, generally six O white thread. So I don't have the right hooks, so I'm going to be using the Gamagatsu SL12, but the short version, and this is a size four. Normally I'd use a size two, but smaller flies uh, tend to work quite well uh, when the fish are picky. So hook in the vise, and then just start with a little bit of a base of, the, of thread, but don't go too far back. That's important not to go too far back, um, because I actually leave the hook shank clear at the back. Now I'm going to use white dumbbell eyes. That's what I like to use. Painted dumbbell eyes, lead ones. The lead ones give it a bit of weight to get to get down under the surface quickly, which you often need when the fish are moving fast. Um, and I leave a bit of space to finish the fly with a little bit of a head. Now I'm no expect, expert fly tire. Uh, you can just this is very simple. Do a bit of a figure of eight tie the uh, eyes down and the good thing about these saltwater flies is they they're big so it's not like a trout fly which is a real pain to tie okay base there there you go that's that tied up I'd like to tie these flies reasonably sparsely so I get a pinch of it out um, and do not waste it I end up I end up doubling it, doubling it, and then doubling it again. And then I just cut it to shape. I just end up cutting it to shape a bit. And then pulling the fibers and leveling them so that they create a nice taper. Um, you just want a little bit of a tapered end. And then I measure it against the shank to about that finger length I want. I chop it level, nice and straight. Pinch it between my fingers. And then I'm just going to tie a loop around it and tie it tight. Loop, loose loop around it, pull it tight. So I can get it right, uh, it's quite tricky sometimes. Loose loop and then just tighten it and then just pull it back and level it so I don't want anything in front of the hook point. Tie that over 
and now what I wanted to do is I wanted to, to leave to lie back. So all I do is I take a couple of figure of eights over the head and you'll see what I'm going to do later with the head cement. So I'm just going to keep it staying back like that, a couple like that and then that's it. So it's in position there um, and you can see that's the blue fibers. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it upside down. Now I'm going to add something to this fly which I've been meaning to add uh, before. And that is, I'm going to add a lateral line to it. I'm going to try this lateral scale today um, and just put a bit of flash in there to imitate that lateral. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one strip of it and put it underneath the thread. Pull it up and I'm going to pull it back behind, pinch it and tie it in. So it's either side and we're going to trim that to trim that to size soon enough. Okay, I hope that will sit nicely sideways. Should hopefully work nice. I haven't tried this before, so uh, We'll see how that goes. Now I'm going to put the uh, the white underneath, and then again I measure it against the hook shank. Hook shank. Cut it. Put it over there. Again, I use a light, light loop. Pull it back. It keeps it clean. And then I try to spread it a bit around. Just create a nice little head. And then I just do a whip finish by hand. You can use a whip finishing tool as well if you want. I've got a very old vice and I just break it off. Okay, now I'm going to put it. Trim any excess things off, trim the lateral line stripes equal, trim any excess bits that I don't like. Okay, and now I'm just going to finish the head and make the fly a little bit stronger. So what I use for that is the Loon Clear UV, the thick Put some tabs on there. Turn it around. Get it underneath. Turn it around a bit. What I just want to do is make sure. The hook eye is clear because there's nothing as frustrating as getting to the water and let's make sure the hook eye is clear. Getting to the water and uh, finding that your hook eye is all pointed up. And now all I do is hit it with the UV torch because that's UV glue. Okay, we'll give it a final check. So there you go, there's the final fly. And that works really well for Kawai and Kingfish in Auckland area.
Well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you tie this fly and catch a few fish. I'm certainly going to be uh, using it over the summer. Uh, if you enjoy my videos and you like, the, like this channel, please click the subscribe button down below and use the notification bell so that you make sure you get all the new videos I'm going to upload. And hopefully I'll do a bit more this summer. Um, I'm really going to try and do, do some, uh, some more videoing of my fishing. So let me know in the comments what you think of this fly and if you use something similar. Thank you very much. Bye.